Hello, my dear children. Once again, welcome to our physics class. Hope you all are fine over there. Children, in the previous session, we had discussed about prism, refraction through a prism, and also we derived an expression for the power and focal length of thin lens combination. Today, we are going to discuss a new topic and also the last topic of this chapter, that is optical instruments, and. you need to study about uh, mainly two uh, two optical instruments that is microscopes and telescopes human eye is also an optical instrument but uh, no need to study about human eye it has been deleted as a part of syllabus reduction so today we are going to discuss about simple microscope and compound microscope so different settings are there for simple and compound microscope so we will discuss two settings each for simple and compound microscope also we will derive an expression for magnification of each of this settings okay so be attentive throughout the session because a compound microscope is little bit complex let's get started with today's session my dear children okay children so let's discuss about simple microscope why why do you use simple microscope simple microscope is an instrument which is used to see large image of small objects clearly as you all know microscope is used to obtain a magnified image of very small objects so first let's discuss how simple microscope helps us to obtain larger image of small objects clearly with the help of a ray diagram so for that i have considered a convex lens because simple microscope consist of a single convex lens and it is a double convex lens now suppose the object is located between focus and the optic center like this suppose this is the object a b now consider one parallel ray from the object and as per the rules of image formation this parallel ray after refraction pass through the principal focus you had already studied about this rule in your class 10 physics so this parallel ray after refraction will pass through the principal focus okay now consider another ray which is passing through the optical center so let this be the second ray and the ray passing through optic center will pass without any deviation so here you can see these are the two refracted rays and these two are diverging rays so they can never meet at infinity or somewhere else so what we will do we used to back trace these two rays so here just back trace this rays again just back trace this ray so these two rays meet at this point here you will get the image and this is our image a dash b dash see so a b this is the object this is the image image is bigger than the object that means this convex lens produces a bigger image or enlarged image of a small object provided object is between focus and optic center of the lens that means object is very near to lens so the same principle is behind the simple microscope simple microscope consist of a single convex lens like this and object is placed very close to the lens so as to obtain a virtual erect and enlarged image of that object again this is an erect image since it is a virtual image this is an erect image so we will get the erect image of the object and also this image is very difficult to record on a screen as you know virtual image cannot be caught on a screen so here will be our eye and we used to see objects from here image from this position so here will be the observer observers i okay children so the simple microscope can produce image 
enlarged image provided the object is kept between the focus and the optic center of the convex lens which is used inside the simple microscope okay now let's discuss the theory so what is the theory of simple microscope a simple microscope consists of a convex lens and the object is placed between focus and uh, this is not c this is o focus and optic center of the lens so as to obtain virtual magnified image of the object okay so a simple microscope consists of a convex lens this is the convex lens and object is placed between focus and optic center here object is placed between focus and optic center of the lens so as to obtain virtual magnified magnified means enlarged image of the object so this is the theory behind simple microscope now it's time to find out the magnification of the image produced by a simple microscope so what do you mean by magnification you had already studied about magnification in your class 10 physics so magnification is the ratio of height of image to height of object also magnification helps us to understand how much the image is bigger with respect to object and one more definition is there for magnification that is magnification is also defined as the ratio of angle subtended by the image to the angle subtended by the object on i and the angle subtended by image on i is taken as beta angle subtended by object on i is taken as alpha so magnification can also be defined as beta by alpha also magnification of a lens is v by u also magnification is height of image by height of object so there are three different formulas to find out magnification beta by alpha where beta is the angle subtended by image on i alpha is the angle subtended by object on i and height of image by height of object then v by u where v is the distance between image and the lens and u is the distance between object and the lens now when we will get a clear and distant image of an object when the object is at least distance of distinct vision isn't it you had already studied about least distance of distinct vision what is least distance of distinct vision it is the distance at which human beings can see things clearly and for a normal eye for a healthy eye this range is 25 cm and whenever we focus at a nearby object our ciliary muscles gets strained it feels stressed at the same time whenever we focus at a distant object our ciliary muscles will be relaxed and our eye also feel a little bit relaxed okay so when do we get a clear and distinct image of an object when the object is at least distance of distinct vision so here also in order to find out the magnification or the magnifying power of simple microscope just adjust the position of object so that the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision okay so in this figure where do we mark u see this is object and this is the distance between object and the lens so this is u and this is our image so this is the distance between image and the object sorry lens and this is v now just adjust the position of the object that means just try uh, move the object a little bit backward or forward within this princ principal focus such that the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision as you know when you change the value of u that means when you change the position of object the position of image will also change so adjust the position of the object such that image this image a dash b dash is obtained at least distance of distinct vision then we can write our image distance is equal to capital d 
where D is least distance of distinct vision. And if the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision, this distance will be capital D. And this will be, this arrangement will be setting for least distance of distinct vision. So this ray diagram indicates least setting for least distance of distinct vision provided image is formed at a distance of D. That means 25 centimeter uh, from the lens. Okay, so V is equal to D. This is the arrangement or setting for least distance of distinct vision. This is our first case of simple microscope. Setting for least distance of distinct vision. And what is the setting? Just adjust the position of object such that image is obtained at least distance of distinct vision. And in such a case, our image distance will be equal to capital D, which is least distance of distinct vision. Now, just substitute all these conditions in our thin lens formula. So, you know, what is our thin lens formula? 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Isn't it? And divide this expression throughout by V. Divide by V. So, when you divide first term by V, you will get 1 minus V by U equal to V by F. Okay. Then, we get 1 minus, what is V by U? V by U is M. Magnification M. So, instead of V by U, you can substitute M equal to V by F. Now, in this case, what is V? When the simple microscope is set for least distance of distinct vision v is equal to capital d okay so instead of v we can substitute capital d divided by f isn't it so from this what is m from this m is equal to 1 minus d by f isn't it now from the figure it is very clear d is measured from, to the left of the lens. So, anything measured to the left of the lens is taken as negative. So, this D is as per sign convention D is negative. So, we can write just keep a negative sign to D. So, magnification M is equal to 1 minus of minus D. That means minus into minus will be plus 1 plus D by F. So, this is the magnification produced by simple microscope at least distance of distinct vision. And if we see anything at distinct vision for a long time, we will feel strained. Our eyes feel strained. So, how can we minimize this? By forming an image at infinity. If we adjust the position of object such that image is formed at infinity, our eye will focus at infinity and our eye feel relaxed at that time. Okay. And uh, when do this object, uh, for, when do this image form at infinity? Yes, whenever the object is placed at focus. So, we are going to discuss setting for relaxed eyes or setting for parallel eyes next. Anyway, just remember this expression for magnification. This is the magnification of a simple microscope for least distance of distinct vision. M is equal to 1 plus D by F, where M is the magnification, F is the focal length and D is the least distance of distinct vision. Okay. Now, let's discuss the second case that is setting for parallel rays or relaxed eyes. So, in this setting, where must be the object? So, in the first case, that means setting for uh, least distance of distinct vision, object was at or object was between principal focus and the optic center. Uh, so, here in the case for setting for parallel eyes or relaxed eyes, object must be at the focus. Then only image is formed at infinity. So, whenever the object is at focus, image is formed at infinity. And this is our object AB. It is located at the focus. Now, 
consider two rays. One ray be the parallel ray. And this parallel ray after refraction pass through focus. Consider another ray. And this ray passes through the optic center. And ray passing through the optic center pass without any deviation. Just look at these two refracted rays. These are parallel rays. And these parallel rays are assumed to meet somewhere at infinity. Okay. Uh, so our eyes feel that these parallel rays are coming somewhere from infinity. So they are assumed to meet somewhere at infinity. Here will be the observer's eye. Isn't it? So the observer feels that the rays are coming, the refracted rays are coming somewhere from infinity and it will be a setting for relaxed eyes. Now, uh, this will be the, so the object is formed somewhere at infinity. Now, here also we need to find out the magnification. So this is the setting or this is the ray diagram for relaxed eyes or parallel rays and for this case we need to find out for this case we need to find out magnification m and you know what is magnification it is the angle subtended by image on i by angle subtended by object on i that is beta by alpha so you must mark beta and alpha in the figure and if image is formed at infinity it is not possible to mark beta and alpha so we need to assume or we need to bring our image to least distance of distinct vision first okay then only we can derive the magnification so image is formed at infinity and with suitable adjustment or we select a suitable position to consider the location of the image and object. So with some arrangements or by suitable adjustment the image is brought at least distance of distinct vision. Suppose this is the image and let this be image be a dash b dash. Okay now this ray appear to come from the image and this ray makes an angle here and this ray makes an angle on i and let this angle be alpha sorry uh, beta beta okay because this is the angle subtended by the image on i so this ray appears to come from the image now and this ray subtends an angle beta on i because angle subtended by the image on i is taken as beta. Now we need to mark alpha then only we can find out magnification. So in order to mark alpha we need to consider the object. So you will think that this is object and this ray appear to come from object. So again this angle itself will be alpha but it is wrong. We need to make or we need to select a suitable position on the same location of the image for comparison. That means the angle subtended by the image on I and the angle subtended by the object on I must be taken from the same location. Then only we can compare. So here this is the object, sorry this is the image and this is the object. So on the image, we will select a suitable position corresponding to the object height. Okay, so this is image. On the image, we will select a suitable point corresponding to the object height. And this is the image A dash B dash. And this can be considered as the object position a double dash b dash see just consider this a double dash b dash it is equivalent to the object a b so height of a b and height of a double dash b dash will be equal now from here just consider that a ray is coming and it is subtending on the eye so this angle this angle it is 
made by the ray coming from the object because this this portion on the image is considered as equivalent to object and let this angle be alpha so this whole angle is beta and this small angle is alpha okay so this angle is alpha and this is beta now we can easily find out magnification so magnification is beta by alpha and again we can write for small angle small angle approximation we can write beta is tan beta and alpha is tan alpha so magnification is tan beta by tan alpha and from the figure in order to find out an expression for tan beta just consider this triangle abo okay so in order to find out an expression for tan beta consider the triangle abo from triangle abo tan beta is opposite side by adjacent side opposite side is ab adjacent side is bo so tan beta is ab by bo divided by tan alpha so in order to find out an expression for tan alpha just consider the triangle a double dash b dash o a double dash b dash o so from this triangle tan alpha this is the tan alpha tan alpha is equal to opposite side a dash b dash by adjacent side b dash o so it is written here tan alpha is equal to a dash a, a double dash b dash by b dash o now ab by bo into take the reciprocal b dash o by a double dash b dash and from the figure it is very clear a double dash b dash is equal to ab isn't it so here a double dash b dash is equal to ab so what you can do this ab and a double dash b dash will cancel because both are same then we are left with b dash o divided by bo see from the figure what is b dash o this is b dash o this distance and i told you by suitable adjustment we brought our image to least distance of distinct vision so this distance will be our d least distance of distinct vision d so b dash o is d okay so that is written here b dash o is d and since it is on the left side it is minus d as per sign convention then we have bo what is bo this is bo bo and b that is this is the distance between the object ab and the lens and our object is placed at focus focus so this distance will be focal length f itself this distance will be our focal length f so bo is equal to focal length f and again we measure it on the left side so as per sign convention it is negative and negative by negative is positive so we will get the ratio as d by f so our magnification m is equal to d by f so two formulas are there for magnification first formula is m is equal to 1 plus d by f so this is the magnification produced by a simple microscope for setting for least distance of distinct vision d again this is the formula for magnification produced by a simple microscope for setting for relaxed eyes or setting for parallel rays okay parallel rays so this is setting for magnification for parallel uh, uh, setting for parallel rays and this is the magnification for least distance of distinct vision so you need to substitute the respective equations according to the adjustment okay so that's all about simple microscope and its magnification two positions are there you need to remember the ray diagrams for two positions that means two settings setting for relaxed eyes and setting for least distance of distinct vision also you need to remember the magnification formula for both settings